Ever since episode 2, nachos have been a part of Star vs. the Forces of Evil the way you might think of pizza with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Krabby Patties with Spongebob. Sure, the series has its fair share of signature foodstuffs, such as corn, goblin dogs, pudding, sugared burritos, I could go on. But nachos are particularly special, especially when it comes to Marco's super awesome nachos, which are pretty good. Seriously, there's a recipe for them included in Star and Marco's Guide to Mastering Every Dimension. You can also find it on the Star vs. Fan Wiki. We'll provide a link for you. The funny thing is, nachos are actually an appropriate symbol for the show when you consider some of the possible symbolism. For the record, we're not saying the Star vs. crew did this on purpose. If anything, the author of the script is probably seeing something that wasn't ever intended, isn't really there, or even looking a little too deeply. That's not this video's reader's opinion either. The writer himself included that line in the script. And that one. And this one. Are we really doing a Family Guy joke? We are better than that. Moving on. First, there's the chips, which are made of the good old Muni favorite loved by humans and monsters alike. Corn. You could say these represent the humans, and making chips from corn could be symbolic of their capabilities. But again, everybody in Star vs. seems to love corn. Next, you have the cheese. Of course, cheese doesn't start out as cheese. It comes from milk, which is typically harvested from animals. Since monsters are basically sentient beings with animal qualities, you could say the cheese represents them in relation to the human and the chips. Milk is also sort of a symbol of love, maternal and parental love if nothing else. For milk to become cheese takes time which is another thing cheese could represent. The common factor is that both take time, work, and energy, in this case heat, in order to come together as one. One sticky, delicious treat. There's also other ingredients that can be symbolic. Marco's nachos call for an assortment of spices, beans, and vegetables. Some ingredients, spices especially, even bring out the flavor of other ingredients, making them taste better. These could represent all the various beings across Muni and other dimensions that make up the show's universe. Here's the final point. All of these things separately are not as good as when they come together. Different as they may be, together they make something unique and better. That's what Star Versus really could be about in the end. Peace, love, and unity through what people have in common and what they can create together. At least that's how I see it. And all in a plate of cheesy chips. That's where the whole piece through nachos thing comes from and what it means, so if you ever see it again, now you know what it's all about. Peace through nachos, stud children!